Some people might even say I pander to the audience. <laughs> pander. <laughs> They're really bad. <laughs> I'm working on that. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Sometimes you won't. <laughs> don't worry, if you don't get the joke, I am happy to explain it. <laughs> Will you <clears throat> make sure that this is a real human hand? I believe it is, yes. He believes it is! That's good enough for me! Alright, Daryl, it's a very cold day. Um, <clears throat> pay close attention. <laughs> oh, it's a very cold day. <laughs> <laughs> That's wincing! You all just winced! Drink! Daryl, high five! Everybody give Daryl a round of applause. Everybody go sit back down. Grosser! Yay! I think that all of you are ready for an option! <laughs> <laughs> Some of you are like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have for you my amazing, fantastic, hilarious bird impersonations. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Or fourth grade memory loss. <laughs> you know, it's real close. We'll do it with a round of applause. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> with the squeaking wheels. Birds! Fourth <laughs> <laughs> grade memory loss. Woo! <laughs> Fine! But you were all missing out on comedy bronze! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am what you call in the sideshow community mentally unstable. Also a human blockhead. What that means is I can take this nail and drive it into the center of my skull. And it's about right here that I start to feel the hamster back up in fear. You guys want to see a nail in my nose? Woohoo! <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah! All right! <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> Let it sink in. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the human blockhead! Thank you! Woo! Woo! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Um, and now, for my completely unimprovised portion of the show, I need a volunteer! <laughs> <laughs> Girl, are you having fun today? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, have you ever played a game called Operation? Yes. Were you good at it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't need times tables that bad. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the end of this nail. And you're gonna very carefully, very slowly pull the nail outward. Don't push down. Don't push up. And don't push in. <laughs> Hamster doesn't have a lot of room. <laughs> All right, Daryl. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Daryl. In case you're thinking that's not real, it's real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <we> <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Woo! Guess what kind of bird I am? <laughs> Spoonbill. I'm a Spoonbill! <laughs> Spoonbill! <laughs> Spoon! <laughs> Very coveted skill am 
amongst the acting community, and that is the ability to cry on cue. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be my cue. Put it right there. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell you. Guys, <laughs> I, 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 I could get a marker and write a cue on here, but I didn't have a marker at the time. But what I did have was some blood from a staple wound, and I tried to make a cue out of blood. <laughs> but funny enough, that washes off if you cry on it multiple times. Why don't you just put it on canvas, Pipsy? Well, I did, and I was using it for the first half of the run. But another fun fact, if you cry on something enough and then put it in a dark box and forget it for a week, it gets moldy. <laughs> fun facts you didn't need to know. On with the show. Now, in order to cry on cue, I must get myself in a sad headspace. My go-to thoughts are... Old Yeller and the Fox and the Hound. Always gets more of an awe than Old Yeller. All right. We'll always be friends, Copper, won't we? <laughs> to inflict on my tongue. tradition every year. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And if you didn't like my show, the pubs are open. Drink till you forget. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I can hear you. What? Right. <laughs> I said she was an influence on my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a good influence. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is in fact what I do for a living. So at the end of the show, I will be over here uh, begging for your life savings and lunch money. <laughs> if you enjoyed the show, uh, please feel free to throw in a 10, a 20, one, whatever. Um, <laughs> high fives, selfies, questions about my life choices are all welcome. <laughs> now, for those of you who are like, you know, I would give you a 20, but you look like you might lose it. Don't worry. I can make absolutely sure that I don't lose it. <laughs> I'll staple it to myself. <laughs> and for those of you that are not into that, uh, I can be bribed to not staple it to myself for the same amount. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very real sword and a very cold sword. Oh boy, is this a cold sword. So, it's going to go up. It's gonna go down behind my heart, between my lungs and into my tum-tum. I will then fold myself in half, making awkward eye contact with someone in the audience. <laughs> and uh, pull the sword out. And everyone will erupt in thunderous applause because I'm not dead. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, if you go leave a comment on the Michigan Facebook page. <laughs> For those of you worried about me hitting my heart, that is a very, very real possibility. Don't worry. According to my exes, I have no heart. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, because I want to tell you, uh, any Star Wars fans out there? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna reenact something. My sword is going to be Luke on this cold, cold day. And I shall be the Tauntaun.